Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to Danzig Fitness, I'm Desiree and today I present to you part three of my advanced series. If you missed part one or part two, I will link those workouts in the description box down below. Now, I designed this advanced series so you could just do one workout on its own or you could potentially do all three one after the other, which I think will be a fabulous challenge. Part one, we mainly laid on our backs. Part two, we flipped over onto the bellies. So I'll give you one guess what part three is all about. Yes, that is correct. We're going to take it on our sides and really focus on the core, butt and thighs. If you're not warmed up already, don't worry. I'll take you through a couple sequences to get the body going and to get you connected with your core. Let's start on the feet, standing up nice and tall at the top of our mats. And we'll take a nice inhale here. As you exhale, reach up with the left, bend to the right, round that top arm, round the back forward, dropping the head down and roll it on up. Good, let's go the other way. Inhale, exhale, slide, reach down. Good, inhale, round that top arm. Exhale, round the back and stand up tall. Good, let's go for it again. Good, really feel the opposition in the body. Make sure the knees are in line with the toes. Beautiful, and once again, bend the knees, reach down with the left, up with the right. Round that top arm, round the back, and rolling up sequentially through the spine. Beautiful. Drop the head back to release, and bring the head back up. And let's take a nice inhale here and let's roll it all the way down. Bend your knees if you have to, place the palms on the floor and let's walk the hands out to our high plank pose. Hold it here, feel a really nice straight line in the body and then let's adjust to our side high plank. Good, hold it here, breathe. Adjust back to your center plank, and then we'll go the other way to our opposite side plank. Good, adjust back to your center plank, and we'll walk the hands back to our downward facing dog, and let's take a few heel lifts here. Lift the heels up nice and high, and lower down with control. Good, make sure the shoulders are away from the ears. And enjoy that nice stretch in the backs of the legs, calves, Achilles, hamstrings. Very nice. From here, bend the knees, continue walking the hands back towards the feet, and take your time as you roll up sequentially through the spine, bone by bone by bone. Very nice. Let's take it down again, inhale, exhale, roll down. Walking the hands out, get that booty down, get in touch with those core muscles. And again, adjusting to your side high plank. Back to center, other way, and center. Good, walk those hands back. We're going a little bit faster this time. Heels up one, heels up two, and three. And four, good, bend the knees, walk the hands back towards the feet, rolling up sequentially, beautiful. We're gonna take this one more time, moving at this faster pace, roll it down, walk the hands out, and side plank, center plank, side plank, center plank, 
Walk the hands back, downward dog, and heels up and down. Two, three, and four, beautiful. Bend those knees, walk the hands back towards the feet, and again, rolling up, bone by bone by bone. Stack the shoulders on top of the hips. Head is the last to come up. All right, friends, let's get down on our mats. So sitting up nice and tall, legs are long, arms are long, roll those shoulders down and back. Inhale, scoop the belly, tuck the tail, exhale to roll all the way down to the mat. Arms are by your ears and let's go for a roll up. Inhale and exhale, peel the spine, round over those legs, feel a nice stretch in the backs of the legs and we start rolling down really scooping the belly and tucking the tail good spine is in neutral and let's go up again inhale fingertips to the sky tuck the chin exhale peel the spine off the mat round over the legs good and make your way back down stay in control try to make this movement as smooth as possible from here, let's bring the right knee into the chest. Hands go behind that right thigh. Hold it here. Make sure your left leg is nice and long on the floor. And very slowly, try to extend your right leg as long as you possibly can. Even if you can't stretch it all the way, that's okay. Just strive for your longest leg. If you want, you can walk the hands up towards the ankle, peeling the head, neck, and shoulders off the floor. Good, make sure you're breathing. We're never holding the breath, especially when we're stretching. Good, and let's walk the hands back down and lower the head down if it was up. Now hook your right arm and right leg. Left arm goes out to the side as your anchor and open that right leg to the right. So now we're getting a beautiful inner thigh stretch. If you want, you can also extend your right leg. So for my ballerinas out there, this is our a la second. Good, make sure the left side of the body stays on the floor. No twisting. Good, and bend that knee in, bring the leg back to center, and now we flop it over to the other side. Head turns to the right, right arm goes out to the side. You can place your left hand on that right leg. Breathe. Good, and let's bring the body, bring the leg, bring the head back to center and lower that right leg down. Beautiful work, you guys. Let's go from the top, starting with those two roll-ups again. Here we go, smoothest movement you can make. Inhale, fingertips to the sky, tuck the chin. Exhale, peel the spine off the mat, round over those legs. Good, and make your way back down. No noise on the way down, keep it smooth. And here we go again. Really peeling the spine off the mat. Good, dropping the nose down to the knees as you go into your forward fold. And take it down with control, beautiful. Sweep your arms by your sides, and here we go with the left leg, bringing the left knee into the chest. Hands go behind your left thigh. Feel your right leg nice and long on the floor, and try to extend that left leg as long as you can. Walk the hands up towards the ankle, peeling the head, neck, and shoulders off the mat if you want. Good, this is a great way to really increase the stretch. Both legs are lengthening in opposition. And walk the hands down, lower the head down. Hook the left arm, left leg, right arm goes out to the side as your anchor and open that left leg to the left. Feeling a beautiful stretch in the inner thigh. Again, be mindful that the right side of your body stays on the floor. Extend your left leg to your a la seconde if you want. If not, just keep that knee bent. Good, breathe and hold. And let's bend the left knee, bring the leg to center, flop it over to the other side. We're looking left, left arm is out. And you can place your right hand on that left leg. Good, bring the leg, bring the body, bring the head, everything back to center, lower your left leg down, nice work. 
Okay, everyone, let's start our side series. So let's get down on one side. And you can either prop your head up on your hand as I am, or if it's more comfortable for you, lengthen out your arm and just place your head on your arm. So you decide whichever position is more comfortable for you. Those legs should be slightly in front of your torso. And here we go, jazz passe. We're going to flex the foot, extend the leg in the front and pulse it up eight times. So you're really going to feel this pretty much immediately on those outer thighs. Leg is as long as you can make, energy shooting out of the heel. Point the foot, come back to your jazz passe and lengthen the leg and let's go again, bring in the knee. Flex the foot, lengthen the leg straight out in front and we pulse up eight times. Good, no extra movement in the body, just the leg is moving from the hip joint. Bend the knee in, lengthen the leg long. Good. Now from here, let's go back to that jazz passe, but externally rotate into your ballet passe. Now only the bottom leg moves. Again, we're gonna lift it up and lower down eight times. So now we're working the inner thigh of that bottom leg. Good. Tummy muscles in tight, core engaged. Nice work, go back to your jazz passe, lengthen the leg long and let's go for round two. Bring in the knee, externally rotate that leg and bottom leg lifts up, no extra movement. Nice work, everyone. Back to your jazz passe. Lengthen that top leg. Stack it right on top of the bottom. And from here, externally rotate both legs. Lift them up, and we're gonna beat those heels together. Good. Again, great for the inner thighs. Take a pause. Just the top leg moves up and lower. Woo! Yep, this is a hard one. You have to really engage in your core here. So that bottom leg is not touching the floor. Try to keep it up. And let's go for that again. Here we go. Legs externally rotated. Squeeze and lift up. We're beating the heels together. Legs are as long as you can make them. Good. Take a pause. Try to keep your bottom leg exactly where it is. Just the top leg kicks up and lowers down. Good, I know, fight for it. One more for good luck. Beautiful. And lower those legs back down. Good work. All right, let's take the top leg. Cross it over right in front of you and adjust your bottom leg so it's in line with your spine. And let's just pulse that bottom leg up again, targeting those inner thighs. Teeny tiny pulses, but boy, do they burn and we love it. Good work, guys. Keep going, keep pulsing, keep breathing. Good, hold and lower the leg down. Nice work. All right, we're taking the top leg, stack it right on top of your bottom leg once again. And from here, we're gonna send our top leg back, bend the knee and develop the leg to the front. Send the leg back, really squeeze those glutes. Hamstring curl as you pass through your jazz passe. Good, so we're really working the glutes, the hamstrings, the backs of the legs and then lengthening and stretch that leg forward. Good, so again, this looks like a leg exercise. It is a leg exercise, but you really do have to engage in your core. Otherwise, you're gonna be rocking and rolling all over the place and we don't want that. So again, just the top leg moves, no extra movement. Good, and of course, we're thinking about the beautiful length in our legs. That's how we get long, lean legs. 
All right, friends, pat it out if you need to. We're gonna sit up, swing the legs around, and do that whole thing on the other side. Okay, so again, you can prop your head on your hand or place your head on your arm. Legs are slightly in front of the torso, tummy muscles engaged, and here we go. Jazz passe. Flex the foot, extend in front, and we lower and lift eight times, really focusing on that outer thigh, doing all the lifting. Good, nothing else moves. And come back to your jazz passe, lengthen the leg, and let's go again. Bring in the knee, flex the foot, extend. Lower down and up eight times. Good, make sure you're breathing. We're just breathing naturally through all of these sequences. Shoulders away from the ears. Bend the knee, lengthen the leg, good. Now we come into our jazz passe, but turn it out to our ballet passe. Only the bottom leg moves. Good, bottom leg lifts that top leg up. Core is engaged, upper body is nice and quiet. Good, back to your jazz passe, lengthen the leg. Let's do that once again. Bring in the knee, turn it out. And inner thigh lifts the bottom leg up and takes it down. Good, keep going. And jazz passe and lengthen the leg long. Let's externally rotate both legs, squeeze and lift them both up and we beat those heels together. Good, really try to rotate your legs out externally as much as you can, only the heels touch. And now only the top leg moves. You gotta fight for this one. Try to keep that bottom leg up. Don't let it lower down to the mat. Two more kicks. Good, and lower the legs down, and let's try it one more time. Engage the core, and squeeze up the legs. Good, inner thighs and heels beat in, 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 in. And pause, top leg up and down. Don't you dare move that bottom leg. Good, such a good challenge. Legs are as long as you can make them. We're challenging our flexibility, our strength, our balance. Good, and lower those legs back down. Nice job, take your top leg, cross it over in front, and we pulse the inner leg up. Again, using those inner thighs. Think about the length of the leg. So you're lifting the leg out and up. Good, keep going, keep pulsing, don't give up. And lower the leg down, beautiful. Stack the legs once again, and now we take the top leg back. Bring your heel to your bottom into that hamstring curl in your jazz passe, and send it through. Good, again, really focus on keeping the upper body so incredibly still. So it's just the top leg that moves from the hip joint. Good, and again, always thinking about the length of the legs. Really imagine like someone's always stretching and pulling your leg out. Beautiful, keep going. and stack the legs. We did it. All right, friends, pat it out if you need to, and let's move on to our next sequence. 
This one is awesome, probably one of my favorites. So prop yourself up on your forearm, we're back on our first side. Legs are parallel, you gotta really engage the core for this one. Hold those tummy muscles in nice and tight. We're gonna float the legs up, crunch the knees in, and lengthen the legs out. We're going for four of these. Good, I would exhale as you bring the knees in, inhale to lengthen the legs out, and now roll back further on your bottom to lift the legs up, and then we go back to our side. Roll back, float the legs up, and roll on your side. Good, keep going, two more. And last one. Good, let's go back from the top. Legs are parallel, crunch the knees in, exhale, inhale on the out. Exhale in, inhale out. Two more. Good, and we exhale, lift. Inhale, roll on your side. Good, exhale, float those legs up. And take it on your side, two more. Stay strong. This is a super challenging exercise, but oh, so good. Last one. And finish on your side. Woohoo! I know that one is a killer, but how amazing is it? Don't you feel so accomplished? All right, we gotta even things out. Swing those legs around. Let's do that on the second side. Prop yourself up on your forearm. Tummy in tight, really lift up and out of the floor, right? Don't sink down into the floor. We have to really stay nice and long and tall. Crunch the knees in and lengthen out four times. Good. And now we float the legs up. Lower the legs down to roll on your side. Roll back to float the legs up. And inhale, roll on your side. Good, keep going. Last one here. And then we'll go for round two. Don't give up on me now, you can do it. Here we go. Knees in and out. up keep the length in the legs shoulders away from the ears two more and last one make it the best one yet yay and we did it <laughs> Yep, that's a tough one, but so, so good. All right, guys, stick with me. Let's move on to our next little sequence. Flip it back over to your first side. We have the legs stacked in a 90 degree bent knee position. And we're going to go into our fire hydrants. So lifting up the top leg, keeping it in that same beautiful shape, your kneecap should always be facing the wall in front of you, so don't externally rotate the leg. Keep it in that parallel line. Nice work. Good, now from here, we go into our clam shells eight times. Keep those big toes together. Really squeeze the buns to externally rotate that top leg, but make sure you're not leaning back, right? No extra movement, just the top leg moves. Good work. Now, I want you to angle your toes and we go back to those fire hydrants. So it's the same movement, but we're just in a slightly more challenging position. Good, again, both legs stay in that parallel line, just the top leg moves. 
that's it. Now we do eight clamshells. Again, same movement. The toes are just pointing back on the diagonal. Big toes stay together. Just the top leg moves now. Good. Beautiful job. Let's lower the feet back down to the mat. Give yourself a little pat if you need to. And now we're going to repeat it again, but this time we're going to go into our elevated hydrants and clamshells. On the forearm, lift your body up. And again, same thing. Keep that top leg in the parallel line. Lift it and lower down in your fire hydrant. Good work, everyone. Big toes stay together, hand goes behind the head, and now we go into our eight clamshells. Again, focus on just moving that top leg, no extra movement. Good, keep pulling the belly button into the spine. Nice work. Let's inhale, reach that top arm up, Exhale, reach under your body. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, reach under and twist. Inhale, lift up. Good, keep going, you guys. Really reaching under and through as much as you can. Great for the core, specifically those obliques. Keep going. Good, and lower the pelvis back down to your mat, and let's come back down to our mat with our upper body. Prop your head up on your hand, or you can lay on your arm. Keep the bottom leg bent, extend the top leg, and we're going to just tap the toes on the floor and lift up to the side, grab onto your leg to stretch, and then we go behind the bottom leg. One, two, three, and lift and stretch. Good, let's go again. Leg is in the parallel line as you tap the toes in front of the bottom leg. Turn it out to stretch, and then back to the parallel line. Tap one behind, two, three, and lift up and stretch. Good, again, one, two, three. Nice sharp little taps, and grab on and stretch behind the bottom leg, one, two, three, and lift and stretch. Good, keep going, last round. Tap in front, down up, two, three, and lift. Good, and behind, one, two, three, and lift. Nice job, good. Let's hold our stretch here, extend the bottom leg nice and long, legs are lengthening in opposition. Hold and breathe and smile. Good. Nice work, you guys. Take your time as you slowly lower that top leg down to meet the bottom. Stay in control. Great work. Okay, guys, swing it around. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Okay, again, prop your head up on your hand or arm nice and long, and lay your head on your arm, knees bent, and here we go with our fire hydrants. We're gonna do eight of these. Again, kneecap stays facing the wall in front of you. Don't externally rotate the leg. Keep it in the parallel line. Good, and tie the big toes together, open the top leg and close into our clamshells. Core engaged, no extra movement. Make sure your shoulders aren't sort of rocking and rolling all over the place. Just that top leg move, squeeze those buns each time you open.
Good. Let's angle our toes. And we go back to our eight fire hydrants. Good. Make sure you really feel yourself lifting up out of the floor. Try not to sink down. Good. And tie the big toes together and we go back to our clamshells. Squeezing the buns each time you open, really engaging in those external rotators. Fabulous job, everyone. All right, let's move along and amp it up into our elevated hydrants and clamshells. Onto the forearm, elbow directly under the shoulder, pick the body up, and here we go with our eight fire hydrants. Good, everything else stays so quiet, so still, so strong. Just that top leg opens up and lowers down with control. Very nice. And big toes together, hand goes behind the head, open up, clam shells. Great job, you guys. Inhale, reach the arm up. Exhale, reach under, twist. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, reach under and through. Good, keep going. Good, really let the breath help you. Almost there. your pelvis back down to the mat. Excellent job. All right, keep your bottom leg bent, extend the top leg, bring it in front of you, and we tap the side of the big toe down up, and two, and three, and grab onto your leg and stretch. Good, now we go behind the bottom leg. One, two, three, and nice stretch. Good, again in front, tap one, two, three, three good stretch the leg longest leg you can make and behind the bottom leg one two three beautiful good keep going you guys nice sharp little taps good and behind keep that core engaged belly button pulling into the spine Good, last round to the front. And to the back. Good, and let's hold this stretch here. Lengthen out your bottom leg. Again, legs are lengthening in opposition. Longest legs you can make. Hold, breathe, smile, think happy thoughts. Good job, everybody. And take your time as you slowly lower that leg down with control. Good. Great job, you guys. All right. Let's move on to our kneeling series. So if you want, you can take your yoga mat and just fold it in half just to give your knees a little bit more cushion if you need to. If not, it's all good. Let's prop ourselves up on the knees. We're going to place one leg out to the side in the parallel line, and then place both arms straight up, palms joined together. All right, here we go for those obliques. Inhale, lift up tall. Exhale, bend away from your leg that's out. Inhale, come up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, come up. Good. Make sure you're keeping the body facing the wall in front of you. We don't want to twist. Good. 
This is such a great exercise to really cinch the waist. Good, keep those shoulders away from the ears. Beautiful. From here, let's open the arms and we're gonna take a beautiful side bend towards the leg that's out. From here, we're going to adjust, palm on the floor, lift that leg up and we go into pulses. Again, leg is in the parallel line. You should feel this on your outer thighs. Use your core and we prop ourselves up again so we can bend towards the leg. And then we go the other way, gently lower down, pulse the leg up eight times, tummy in tight. Good, use your core to prop yourself back up. Nice work. Let's swap legs, arms up, press the shoulders down, lots of space between the shoulders and ears. Inhale, exhale, bend, inhale, lift. Exhale, bend. Inhale, lift up tall. Good, keep going, you guys. Nice work. Open the arms and let's take our beautiful side bend towards that leg that's out. Use your core, lower down gently as you lift the leg up and pulse the leg up eight times. Really feel the shoulders and the hips stacked. And use your core and we go again. Nice side bend towards that leg. Lift the body up and palm goes down, leg goes up, pulse it up eight times. Nice work, and use your core to bring the body back up to center. All right, how did that one feel? Let's do another one. Let's go back to the first side, extend out your leg, a palm goes on the floor, really stack the shoulders, stack the hips. Top arm is lengthening out, lift the leg, and we go elbow to knee one, two, Three, flex the foot, palm faces out. Try to touch your toes to your fingertips. Open up and then we go again, elbow to knee. Two, three times, flex the foot, palm out. Touch the fingertips to toes, beautiful. And let's bring in the knees around the back. Sweep the body to the other side and we'll do the same thing. Here we go, elbow to knee. Try to keep the leg and arm parallel to the floor. And we flex the foot, flip the palm out, touch toes to fingertips. Again, knee in and out. Two, three, flex the foot, send it forward. Good job, you guys. Bring in the knee, round the back, drop the head, sweep the body to the other side, and let's do it again. Good, don't give up. I know that booty is burning, but we're gonna finish it together. Don't you dare stop. One, two, three, flex the foot, kick it front. Good, we're almost there. And sweep the body to the other side. Good, and here we go. Knee to elbow, one, two, three, flex the foot. Good, fight for it last time. And kick it front. Yes, you did it. Round the body forward. Let's stay here and hang out in our child's pose. Take some nice deep breaths. If you want, you can open the knees out to the side just to get a little bit more in those glutes. Great work. Okay, friends, stick with me. We are almost there. Let's get on the backs and we're just going to take some time to stretch it out a little bit because we did a lot of intense buns and thighs exercises. So we're going to stretch it out and then for our grand finale, we're going to do a really fun combination. But let's just take some time, come to your home base position, 
Hug the knees into the chest, rock the knees, rock the head if you want. You can stir the legs around by placing your hands on your knees. Good, just to really release those hips. This always feels good after all of those side series exercises. Okay, lengthen the legs up, cross your right leg over the left, bend the knees, and grab onto your ankles. Good, immediately you should already feel a stretch within the hip joints. Just take some nice deep breaths here. Good, and let's swap the legs. Left leg in front, bend the knees, grab onto those ankles. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good, nice job, all right. Bend the knees, let's place the hands behind the thighs. Give yourself a little rock back so you can pull yourself up. And let's go into a butterfly variation. Place one foot closer to your body, the other foot in front, and we're gonna reach the arms forward. Good, really pressing the knees down to the floor. Again, you should feel a nice deep stretch within those hip joints. And let's reverse the curve of our spine by pushing the hips forward, arching the back, looking straight up to the sky. Good, doesn't that feel amazing? All right, swap feet, other foot closer to the body. Reach the arms forward, round the back, drop the head down, feel a nice C curve in the spine. on up place your hands behind your pelvis push the hips forward as much as you can so you're balancing on your knees and shins arch the back looking up beautiful and lower the pelvis back down to the mat great job you guys all right let's go out with a bang let's get up on the feet and let's finish with a really fun little combination Let's start with the legs and feet in the parallel position, about hip width apart, arms by your sides. Inhale here as you exhale, bend the knees, reaching one arm forward, one arm back. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, twisting the other way. And inhale, stand up. Good, two more. Bend, exhale, twist. Inhale, stand up tall. And last one, the other way. And inhale, stand up tall. Beautiful job. Drop the chin to the chest. Let's roll it down sequentially through the spine. Palms on the floor. Walk your hands out to your high plank, but then we're going to adjust to our forearm plank. Cross one arm in front of the other because from here, we're going to flip the body into our side forearm plank. So when you're ready, we're going to flip it on over. Top hand goes on the hip, and let's dip the hips down and up eight times. Good, bend the bottom leg and lengthen your top arm. We're going to lift that top leg up and down again eight times. Make sure the leg remains in the parallel line. So kneecap should be facing the wall in front of you. Good, and now turn it out. And now we kick the leg up in the externally rotated line. So you'll definitely be able to kick that leg a little bit higher now that it's in that turned out position. Good, keep pressing the floor away. Core is working hard here. Great job, you guys. Let's adjust back to our side forearm plank. Adjust back to your center forearm plank. Hold, breathe. And now let's go to our high plank. Straighten those arms. Walk the hands back towards the feet. 
bend the knees and take your time rolling up sequentially through the spine stack the shoulders on top of the hips head is the last to come up beautiful inhale and we go again exhale bend the knees twist good and the other way really lengthen your arms in opposition and again reach inhale stand up tall last one exhale bend inhale stand up tall beautiful dropping the chin to the chest rolling down boom by boom by boom by bone palms go on the floor walk the hands out high plank and from here adjust to your forearm plank crossing one arm in front of the other establish a good center plank good booty down core engaged and when you're ready flip it on over to the other side forearm plank top hand goes on the hip and again let's dip the hips down and up eight times good hold it here bend that bottom leg lengthen the top arm and we lift the leg up and lower down but keeping it in the parallel line kneecap stays facing the wall in front of you good no extra movement now turn the leg out and kick the leg up in your externally rotated or turned out position good tummy in tight almost there think about the length of the leg longest leg you can make beautiful job everyone let's adjust back to our side forearm plank and come back to your center forearm plank and when you're ready adjust back to your high plank straighten those arms gently walk the hands back towards the feet bend the knees and take your time as you roll up sequentially through the spine good head is the last to come up beautiful job friends let's finish with a nice circular motion in the upper body take an inhale exhale bend the knees round the back forward and we're going to circle the upper body back to the other side all the way down and again circle all the way around and lower down good let's roll up through the spine and we'll go twice the other way so we bend the knees as the back is rounded forward and circle around legs stretch as you arch back bend the knees round forward circle stretch the legs as you go back and bend the knees round forward roll up through the spine isn't that delicious <laughs> all right you guys did such an amazing job today don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so i know you completed it leave me a comment share this video with your friends and please consider subscribing so we can continue working out together and speaking of working out together you can take actual live online classes with me all the info is in the description box down below so please check that out and i cannot wait to meet you guys and i cannot wait to move and sweat with you and dance with you so i'm very much looking forward to meeting all of you okay friends sending so much light and love and hugs your way and take care of you and i'll see you on the next one bye